Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. This is your tarot, rune, and oracle reading for the week or the month ahead of May 2024. The rune that came out for you is called Weird, and it is the blank rune. Very mystical, special. This is actually showing that fate is being woven this month and your free will is playing an enormous impact like tremendously in this month ahead so what you decide to do this month is really going to shape what type of future you have and you're going to have a lot of faded decisions to make at this time i i don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing for you it depends on your personality i guess but uh yeah there's i'm seeing people offering you things um, there may be people offering you a certain type of relationship. There may be other options for you. There may be people trying to offer you some sort of job or business opportunity. Um, and there could be the old safe bet, you know, as Amy Winehouse said. Um, <laughs> so there's just a lot of, of strings of fate and destiny here at your disposal. And you're the one weaving them. If I were you, Aquarius, I would connect with the spider spirit this month. Uh, literally just call out um, to the spider spirit. Spider spirit, spirit of the spider, please help me weave the most beautiful life for myself this month and allow me to weave my highest path and destiny in every decision that I make this month okay pause this video and call out to the spider spirit in that way i can imagine that there's going to be a lot of very impactful and powerful changes options events taking place for you this month and fate is really being woven at this time so we're going to pull three oracle cards from the energy oracle first card out envy oh my gosh the theme of envy and jealousy may actually be in your life. This energy is somewhere in your life during this time. Aquarius, I don't know why I'm kind of getting the feeling that you have multiple people, several people um, attracted to you uh, romantically, sexually, physically. <laughs> and that's very funny. <laughs> um, I feel like there are there's an individual or some individuals in your little harem of people um, that may not be jealous at all. You know, they may be very secure in themselves and very confident. But there's also people here. Um, this could even be exes, okay? Old lovers who are extremely jealous and envious. Uh, for some of you, there may even be family members or friend friends. I, I use these in quotes, very lightly, uh, that are envious as well. Jealous of the success that you are bringing in for yourself. Uh, very fascinating. I feel like you have this newfound sense of confidence in yourself. Um, you're making a lot of big changes in your life. You're seeing a lot of success as a personal individual, not following the status quo, not following the regular path. Um, and people are envious of that. Now, for some Aquariuses, Aquarius energy people, who may be on a lower path, and I feel like this is not the majority of people watching at all. I, I would be very surprised if any Aquariuses like this were watching. Um, I am seeing envy within Aquarius energy coming up, being or feeling very jealous uh, of those around them who are living their own unique individual life. Because Aquarius, here's the thing. In past several months, you've been feeling really guided to go on your own path and to really empower yourself, uh, be the leader of your own ship, the captain of your own ship, the leader of your own life, and create your own destiny. A lot of Aquariuses at this time are planning their own business, their own life, their own travels, like everything very unique, very individualized, and not having to rely off of someone to, um, you know, work for them or be their like slave, be a slave to their mission, you know? And the Aquarius energy folks who did not hear that calling in these past few months and they decided to play it safe, those are the ones that will be experiencing a great deal of jealousy, looking at the people who are finding a lot of success in their lives and doing their own thing. One thing I have to say here as well, Aquarius, try to avoid comparing yourself to other people who are doing similar things that you're trying to do, okay? Because there could be other people, like let's just say I, I'm a tarot reader, you know, I'm a tarot channel on YouTube. If I compared myself to YouTube channels that have been going for like 10 years longer than me, 
they, they, they've just been in it for so much longer. I can't compare my following and my engagement with theirs because they have 10 years on me, you know? So it's not fair to you to compare yourself to other people who are doing the things that you want to do. <clears throat> I feel like sometimes we can take envy, we could take jealousy that we may experience and turn it into a very positive experience, you know? Um, when I was younger, I mean, we all face jealousy, envy in our lives. When I was younger and I experienced some jealousy or envy, uh, I remember thinking to myself, consciously trying to transmute that energy into inspiration instead. Like, okay, that that girl, that woman looks beautiful. Her butt is immaculate. <laughs> Her muscles are great. Okay, and that would inspire me to work out. You know, I, I would transmute that jealousy into inspiration. And that inspiration turned into appreciation for those people. And now, like, I genuinely, like, go up and compliment people. And I genuinely am so happy to see someone who is thriving and succeeding and looking great, feeling great. Like, it's such a source of inspiration to me now. But before I got to feeling inspired and allowing that to fuel my own success, it felt like jealousy. It felt like envy. So it's a very, envy and jealousy is a lower vibrational form of inspiration. Okay. So let's take it like that. And if there's anyone who acts out in negative ways because they're jealous of you, they're just fans. <laughs> Honestly, they're just fans. I was just thinking this yesterday too. Oh my God. And I'm an Aquarius rising. So I resonate with parts of this reading as well. Um, j just yesterday on my first YouTube channel, I was reading the comments. There was this woman who left me like 10 different hate comments on 10 different videos. And I smiled. I really did. It was kind of funny because she kept harshly ridiculing each video, but she would, was commenting on like the entire length of the video. So I'm like, you're sitting here for hours watching my content. You're a fan. You are a fan of my work. Thank you so much. Um, and you know, I really didn't take the jealousy or the, the hate, uh, seriously, to be honest, because it's like, you can't sit here and hate someone so much and like not be their fan. Yeah. Like I, I clearly am striking some sort of chord in you if you care that much. So I, w I was actually very grateful for her because first off, she gave me lots of engagement on my videos. <laughs> and also, you know, those people are really just fans who have a weird psychological complex within themselves that you know, make them hate the people they love and that they in are inspired by. That's how they source their self-esteem, <laughs> by putting down the people they're genuinely inspired by who are genuinely succeeding. So if there's anyone in your life who you feel that sort of jealousy or envy energy from, take it as a compliment, okay? We have Journey coming out in reverse here. Mm, I want to read this one from the book. Why not? The number two, <clears throat> I have the book out right here, so might as well do some reading. You may desire to move or to just get away for a while, but the reverse of this card could indicate a, de a delay or even a cancellation. I don't know why JetBlue just came into my mind. If any of you are flying JetBlue, maybe a delay or cancellation, I don't know. Something could be standing in your way or perhaps lines of communication may get crossed. Don't let the potential changes upset you. Refocus your energy and be flexible enough to alter your schedule or destination as needed. Remember, you can always create new adventures even in your present location or situation. Exactly. So even if you want to move out to these faraway places and have a whole new life, you know, just treat the city you're at as if you're vacationing, as if you're seeing it for the first time, you know, be a tourist in your own city. Be someone who is, you know, looking at things through the eyes of, of doing it for the first time um, and not the eyes of someone who's been there, done that, you know. Uh, be open, be flexible to changes. You also have the goddess of the moon coming out, very intuitive, extremely psychic, okay? I don't know why I'm seeing a lot of you are connecting with other light workers, people who have psychic abilities, people who are really strong mediums or um, just light workers in some way. This card shows the eternal spirit holding the bright reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upwards, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information about all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you've avoided a three hour traffic jam. See, follow that intuition. It'll prevent these travel delays from taking place. Mm. 
just go with it. And I love that. Or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment, or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. This is what I'm saying. A lot of you guys will be connecting with someone who already has this very strong psychic ability, and it's going to rub off on you. You're going to start having really spiritual experiences, or you're going to wake up to that world a little bit more. And for some of you, you may even uh, feel guided to start some sort of uh, psychic or spiritual based business, some sort of business that is in alignment with, you know, the spirits of the world, the spiritual nature of life. You're always blessed with this ability to connect, but this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration that brings. I love it. Okay. We are going to shuffle up the cards and see what comes out for you. All right, let's dive into it. Okay, wow, so many cards just fell all over the floor, all over the table, hold on. Okay, the ones that fell on the floor are the moon, which is coming out twice now, goddess of the moon and the moon, all right? Pay attention to your energy around the new and full moons for sure this month. It'll be a very intense time for you with a lot of psychic dreams or insights, faded circumstances and events taking place. We also have the 10 of swords ruin coming out. I am seeing a, a major ending here, walking fully away from certain opportunities, new opportunities for you that, um, hmm. how do I put this? You may have had like a new, <sighs> mm. I really don't know how to word this. You might have had a future path open up for you, like an idea in your head of something that you were gonna do. This could have been like someone who you saw a lot of potential in or an idea that you had a lot of, uh, that you thought had a lot of potential. And I'm seeing here that for some of you, that idea or that sort of mm, daydream that you had is being ruined honestly. And wow, I'm just casually shuffling the cards and we had the three of swords come out in reverse. Yeah. So that's confirmation there. And by ruined, I, this isn't something I'm predicting. I'm, I'm seeing that the, the ruin aspect of it has already begun, uh, before you're even watching this. So for example, you may have had a new friend and you had all these ideas like, oh my God, this is the perfect friend I can go traveling with, blah, blah, blah. And you see something within that person. Maybe you go out with them one night to a bar and they're flirting with like a married man or woman and they end up going home with them. And you're like, uh, <laughs> that is not morally aligned with me um, at all. And you're starting to see like a different side to this person. And you're like, oh my gosh, this beautiful thing that I had in my mind of like traveling with them, doing this, that, the third, it may not be working out. Um, this could even be someone you've known for a long time. And you thought they changed, you thought they've grown, but you're seeing a different side to them again. And I feel like you're sort of pulling back your energies and just letting that dream die. And the weird thing is that when you pull your energies back, I feel like this person or this opportunity is going to start getting very envious, very jealous, wondering what you're up to, messaging you, where are you at? What are you doing? Give me attention, blah, blah, blah. Um, and again, it's bringing out a whole different side to them that you didn't even recognize to exist before. Very fascinating. You're just following your intuition, following your gut with things, you know? Listen, my intuition is saying right now, maybe don't reach out to this person. Maybe give it a break. I'm just going to keep following my intuition day by day and see where it takes me. I'm not going to overthink the future. I'm not going to overthink the past. Right now, this is what my intuition is saying. It's saying, give this a break, okay? And I think you're, you're really listening to that intuition, which is great. Now, there was three more cards that came out on the table, but they're all face down, and I'm going in rows of three, so I'm going to keep that as the second row. Let's pull a third card out for you, okay? We have the eight of wands, swiftness moving forward quite rapidly. You're very popular this month. Uh, Aquarius, I almost called you Virgo. And I'm like, that's not Virgo. And then I couldn't think of the word Aquarius. Um, very popular. There's a lot of invitations out. A lot of people around your energy just wanting to move forward with you. I feel like the more you ascend and, and you're doing publicly cool things. <laughs> How do I put this? Like you're doing cool things. It's very public. People are seeing it. And also some of you guys are just becoming more attractive. Okay. Like literally physically becoming more attractive or more social, more charming, charismatic, and people want you to show up to their parties. They want you to come to their events and you're getting so many invitations out to do so many different things. 
it's so crazy. Even as I was filming your reading, I started getting phone calls. So I had to pause and it was someone saying like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be like an hour late. You know, can we change the plan a little bit? Which is so funny because you had this journey card in reverse saying delays, uh, changes to plans and just going with the flow and not necessarily uh, getting so offended or, you know, caught up in that energy. So yeah, definitely expect some changes to your plans this month. And especially with the weird rune coming out, <clears throat> This could even be changes to your life plan, okay? Huge changes to your life plan. And with the eight of wands, this could be very positive, all right? A new life path, a new life plan, a new idea, a new business, something like that, coming in extremely swiftly. And it's gonna change, you know, what, it's gonna change like your five-year plan. You know, I kept talking about that in Scorpio's reading, their five-year plan. Uh, it's going to change your plan. It's going to change, you know, your, your goals, your major ambitions for the upcoming years is what I'm seeing. So this is a really significant month, extremely significant month. Be definitely open to changes in the plan. <clears throat> Second row of cards out fourth card. We have the hanged man seeing things from a new perspective. Yeah. Again, this confirms what I was picking up on. You're seeing people and opportunities that you were trying to move forward with from a different perspective. And because of that, like you're becoming enlightened, you know, you're recognizing what you truly want in life and uh, where you want to go from here. We have the queen of cups, beautiful. There could be a very significant water sign in your life, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This connection may be deepening with whoever this is. They could be a friend. They could be a lover. They could be someone you're dating, could be family member. I don't know. They feel like a, either an older or very mature um, feminine energy. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They don't have to be a water sign though. This is someone who, oh, actually this is who I was talking about earlier. Remember I was saying there's someone in your sphere, someone in your energy who's very psychically connected, uh, mediumship type of energy. This is that person coming through, could be very creative, maternal, parental type of energy. Uh, very beautiful. They let their emotions flow, but they do not give their emotions away freely. You have to earn the right to enter their heart space. But once you enter that heart space, you are there forever. So there may be some significant developments um, with that person, with that energy, which is going to inspire you. And because this person's energy is inspiring you, and you know, every connection we have in life is an energy exchange and people can bring so many new ideas we never thought to, uh, into our lives so quickly. They could bring whole new paths uh, that we never thought about. And I'm seeing that happen, like new people, they don't have to be new. This could even be a deepening of a connection that was just like someone you barely knew or you're getting closer with someone is what I'm seeing here. And it's gonna actually change your, your life path a little bit. Final card out is the three of wands in reversed. Mm. And it says established strength. You know what, Aquarius? Actually, we're going to pull more cards for you. <laughs> I feel like we need to do more cards. So let's do another row. Why not? I've been so wishy-washy in each sign this, this month. You know, some got six cards, some got nine. You're going to get nine. All right, let's see what the final row of cards out for you is. But yeah, this three of wands in reverse to me shows a change of direction, a change in plans. Hmm. Some of you guys may even be suddenly thinking about moving, like changing up home. You like you could fully like own a condo, own a home, or be really settled in one location, and you're randomly like some swift change happens, and you're like, huh? Well, what if I move? What if I do this? What if I do that? We have the Eight of Swords uprights. I don't know why Aquarius. Some of you may be um, a little bit in your head here, feeling a little bit stuck. What do I do? How do I move forward? Take any action. Take any action that intuitively comes up for you, okay? Don't stay stuck in this energy of not knowing what to do for very long, okay? And also, this is a minor arcana card, so you will not be feeling like this for very long anyways. Any action will do. Listen to your intuition and move forward the way you feel most appropriate. Mm. All right, your final two cards came out. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. Wow, and it says, rest from strife. I don't feel like you're gonna be getting much sleep this month. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I am seeing a lot of action, a lot of exciting change, forward movement, etc. All right, keep your energy protected is one thing I wanna say. Do a cleanse on your home, on yourself, your belongings regularly. Bless your belongings regularly, especially if they are vital 
to what you're trying to do, okay? For example, uh, if you're a business owner of any sort, it's not enough to just bless yourself, cleanse your own energies. If you have a laptop or the internet or a home that you work from, uh, anything for your business, bless and cleanse those objects as well. Actually, right before your reading, uh, not right before, but earlier today, I felt really guided to cleanse my laptop, my microphone, camera, phone, cards, everything that I use because not only do you hold on to energy, not only does your home and location hold on to energy, but your objects hold on to energy as well. And while the tarot cards, for example, <clears throat> can channel energies, they also hold on to energies physically within themselves also. So I am seeing a need here to cleanse and bless your space for sure. There's, there's a big thing there with that, actually. You know, start um, communicating with the spirits uh, of everything in your life. The spirit of your phone, the spirit of your computer, the spirit of your plants, your house, your animals, the spirit of the land that you live on and you visit, okay? Make sure that it's, it's healthy, it's in alignment, you know? As a person who is having this goddess of the moon card come out, having a lot of psychic stuff come out for you, um, if you're psychically consciously aware, it is your duty to make sure that your little corner of the earth is safe and protected because there is not that many light workers on the planet compared to the general population. So if you're somebody who's spiritually attuned and connected like this, you might be the only person in your entire neighborhood, okay? So it's your job to bless and cleanse the trees outside and the rivers, the streams that run through your town, your neighborhood. It's your job to visualize beautiful light energy pouring into your town, protecting it, protecting your home, the people there, everything. I think you'd be very shocked at the types of changes that you'll notice when you start doing this. When I started doing this, cause like I always used my psychic abilities to help you guys, to help myself, whatever. I never really paid attention to the land around me, whatever. It never felt like mine. However, once I started doing these blessings on uh, my town, the blocks around me, um, everything, and I literally would just visualize beautiful light energy pouring into these areas, protecting it, and um, mama earth energy just taking over in the most positive, abundant way possible. I noticed literal changes in my neighborhood. A lot of my neighbors started really taking care of their, their front doors, their porches, their yards. Um, very problematic neighbors moved out almost immediately without saying anything. And uh, people started planting more trees, native trees and plants. It's just been so beautiful. And all, now I'm not gonna say that I'm the only reason this happened, but you know, you can certainly help. And yeah, I'm seeing more spiritual work that you're diving into this month. Um, there could even be like spiritual practices, meditation, breath work, journaling, anything like that uh, can help as well. So I think this is really beautiful. You're connecting uh, into those energies. And yeah, I, I don't know why I'm seeing rest, taking a break from something, taking a break from someone. Your intuition is telling you to sort of back away from certain individuals or things. Um, it doesn't even have to be a person. This could be like, okay, maybe you have an event or a group or some sort of hobby that you used to do all the time. And it's like, you know, I'm just going to take a break from it. I'm going to back away from it, spend more time in solitude. And when you're in that solitude, you may feel guided to uh, do the things that you want to do, like work on a business idea that you have, work on a novel that you have, um, make some sort of growth in your life, you know? Uh, so I'm seeing that taking a break from something. It's not that you're like cutting it off. It's not that you are making any dramatic big endings. It's just, you know, I'm just taking a break from it just to focus on myself, focus on some ideas I have. That's what I'm seeing for you. And then final card out, sorrow with the three of swords. Yeah, three of swords with the 10 of swords here, guys. Some of you are really ending things with an X. <laughs> I don't know why I felt guided to say an X uh, or someone in your life. <clears throat> this could, I'm even seeing, not just an X actually. I'm seeing, okay, this is really specific. People who were once Libra energy and then transitioned into Gemini energy for you. So people who you were, were once very, very close with, now you're not as close with them, but they still have a piece of your heart. And even in this less close spot in your life, you're realizing like, okay, I, I need to, you know, cut ties. <laughs> I need to walk away from this um, <clears throat> because it's toxic. You know, there, there's envious energies here. There is all dramas constantly coming back up. It's time to just cleanse the energy, cut the cord, etc. So yeah, backing away from some things, cutting the cord entirely from other things and focusing on just 
your own ideas in the process. Your psychic abilities, spiritual abilities are extremely strong right now. You are taking responsibility uh, as, as a shaman, a priestess, someone who is a light worker in this world. You're, you're taking personal responsibility for that and not only using that ability for yourself, but also your neighborhood, the people around you and sending good positive spirits and energies to those who deserve it. And even those who hurt you, those who don't necessarily deserve it, you know, you still send good positive healing energy to them, which is amazing. So, I mean, the Queen of Cups is literally the center of your world, center of your spread this month. So, so much spiritual and creative healing, as well as um, people who are doing the same thing as well could become very closer to you this month, okay? Thank you for joining me, Aquarius. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this month ahead, because there's certainly more to it than this. And if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.